happens to be today the world's most data mineable industry by far, and it's not even close. Right? So maybe one day healthcare will be up there when they have little nanobots that are in your bloodstream that are doing real-time analysis. But until then, it's not close. Education beats everything else hands down. So today we have over 50 partners who are accessing our open data uh, initiative platforms. Um, and we think um, uh, it's just the beginning. We are also the largest trustee of student data. So our student information system, PowerSchool, um, has seen some tr uh, really explosive growth. Uh, and what we've seen over the last decade is that as student records moved from print to PC-based to now online, um, it's an unbelievable uh, uh, um, uh, growth. And, and I want to talk, too. We're pulling data from everywhere. You name it, having open standards is important. We get data from thousands, tens of thousands of different places. And being able to do that fast and do it clean is incredibly important for us. Just want to talk about one thing uh, here that's important data that we need to be able to pull in to make all this work is common core data. So Newton today gets 5 to 10 million actionable data per student per day. And we do that because we get people, if you can believe it, to tag every single sentence of their content. So publishers, we have a large publish, uh, publishing partnership with Pearson, and they've tagged all of their content. And also using the new common core education standards, those tags mash up to create the right uh, connection, the right content to the right place. And we're an open standard, so anyone can contact us. Um, if you tag all of your content and you do it down to the atomic concept level, down to the sentence, down to the clause, you unlock an incredible amount of trapped, hidden data. Why do you do that? Well, um, you, if you use programmatic um, um, taxonomy models, an item response theory, and that thing at the bottom, <laughs> we haven't given that a name yet, um, what you figure out is everything in education is correlated to everything else, down to the concept. And this is where education is different from search or social networking. If somebody tagged every single line, every single sentence of all the world's web pages for Google, or every single line of dialogue for Netflix, okay, which no one's done, but even if they had, there are not really a whole lot of interesting correlations there. Everything in education is correlated to everything else. Every single concept is correlated in a predictable way to everything else using, using psychometrics, right? We think we're really excited to correlate with other people's data sets via open API, like things like, you know, something we, uh, we talk about as kind of as a joke, but it really should work, is like a food diary. You know, you just, you tell us what you had for breakfast every morning uh, at the beginning of the semester. By the end of the semester, we should be able to tell you what you had for breakfast, because you always do better on the days you have scrambled eggs or whatever, right? And more importantly, we should be able to tell you what you should have for breakfast. So the power of data, when you unlock millions of data points per user per day, you can accomplish things that people aren't even conceiving of right now. But that world is coming. Um, we're trying to bring it to you, and we're going to be an open system that will allow anyone to just plug that data, take it out, and then plug it back in. And we're going to be an open system that will allow anyone to just plug that data, take it out, and then plug it back in. Thanks very much.